Okay guys, this is Mr. Shardy Guys, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Graces F. In the last part, we made it through Fendel Research Lab, and in this part, we're gonna go fight a boss. Spoilers, we're fighting a boss. But first, uh, I uh, changed my party setup. I brought Sophie in because extra healing. Uh, I also turned down the difficulty as well. And I put in a different item in my mixer. It's a, good, it's a potentially useful thing. Uh, the rice omelet. It only cooks when you have more than... 50% of your Elith, so like if you're greater than that, it uses 62 quite a bit, but it uh, increases EXP earned, so that actually can be somewhat useful, especially when you want to grind. So I just figured I'd point that out, because I actually had forgotten about it <laughs> myself, but uh, so let's move on, I believe. Let's uh, enter in here. The monsters in this lab are pretty strange, aren't they? I've heard that Fendel has been investing in biological weaponry. Perhaps this lab is being used to facilitate it. Watch out, guys. This one looks like trouble. And we have Varus. Hey, boss. Oh, bird, beast, dragon, and reptile. Let me check my arch real quick. Uh, oh, wait. Is he weak to uh, A or B? He's neutral. Not weak to A or B. Is what was weak to bird? Yeah. So, okay, the Sonic Mount Chain. Actually, I want to ch check him out again. Yeah, level 50. He's only level 50 on moderate, you know. We can take him. I believe it. I didn't grind. We're gonna grind after this part. Because I'm getting into a more um, of a setup where I'll likely be recording, you know, not in such a cluster of like five episodes at a time. More in a. Oh no. I don't believe he has any mystic arts to worry about, but he can't be interrupted, so that is kind of annoying. And he's summoning again. Although these bees should be no problem at all. Yeah, 38. These bees are nothing. Okay. Oh, I missed the chance there. And I missed the nice combo. That's that's always good. I'm missing the combo. And when I put on the title that increases Mount's damage. Just for this battle. And I messed it up. So fitting. Ow. I need I should stay back a bit more. Oh no, no, no. Not the needle spiders. These guys, I hate them because of their magic. Okay. Okay, here we go. This Malak beam. There we go, that was some nice damage. Oh man, we, we almost got... And that was a pretty darn good battle. We cooked the rice omelet. And that's a good amount of experience right there. Almost 3,000. Nice. We get the elevator key, a killer needle, soft sand, and some venomous needles. And we got two new titles. Nice. And well, that's actually that was a pretty sh I'm surprised pretty good you fight. Were able to defeat my Varus. Oh hey Fourier, I assume it's Fourier. Oh actually, I knew it was Fourier, but uh, <laughs> we're gonna find it out in a second anyway. I'm not too worried about spoiling it now. I mean, she does kind of look like Pascal, so Fourier. the hair. <laughs> Pascal, is that you? Oh, good heavens, I thought someone was trying to steal my work. Nope. Well, 
I can't believe you built that Varus and everything. You're amazing, sis. It would have been more amazing if you hadn't defeated it so easily. <laughs> We're just that awesome. <laughs> so, what are you doing here? We came to talk about Fendel's Valkanus Creus experiment. On Forbrenir? Of course. I'll have you know, That's I spent years working on the research used in that experiment. I may have used your work as a starting point, but what matters are results. You know that. It's okay. I didn't come here to take credit for anything. I know you've done a ton of work on it. But no matter how smart you are, sis, the research is still flawed. And just what does that mean? Um, well, it's like... Look, it's gonna be a lot faster if I can just show you. Okay, Pascal, why are you looking at your shoes? Laying around, like, maybe one the size of a bean. Um, do we? I don't know. Let's all check our feet. They could be there. Stare. Yeah, I like how Pascal was staring at the same spot it looked like. Like, seriously. Oh, see, Sophie found it. That's perfect. Here, give me. Impressive, yes. No one has ever been able to extract Elith from Fire Korea so efficiently. Yeah, but Ooh, speedy you give DNA. this thingy a little chunka chunka. Pascal, yes. what are you doing? Um, being Pascal. Guys, you might want to get back. This that's not a bad idea. I think it's gonna blow. Asbel. Um. Not sure what you did, but I, I I assume you're not dead. Good. What? What just happened? See, that's the trouble with fire, Creus. It likes to explode like fire. If you apply well, too really. much pressure when extracting the elith, it starts a chain reaction, and once that happens, it starts accelerating all the surrounding elith, and then kapow! You can contain the damage when it's a handheld weapon or something, but with the Valkanus, it would be a total disaster. So that's why you never finished your research? Yep. Yeah, I saw where it was headed, so I just chucked the whole kitten caboodle. And that's why we gotta stop the experiment before everybody gets blown up. I... I can't do that. Yeah, it what might be not? tough for you to tell him, huh? Well, look, how's about you just show me where they are and I'll just do it. Are you trying to make a fool of me? Am I what Nope. Now? You saw where it was headed. You just worked it all out in your head. Do you have any concept of how hard I've worked to complete the research you've abandoned? You always do this. You mimic whatever I do, then just effortlessly do it better. I kill myself to be successful, and then you slip in with your right quick now. thinking and fancy talking, and and and, and you just leave the head of me like it's nothing. Fourier, I. Fourier, we must get to the Valcanus Creus. Even if the experiment wasn't a danger, there's a different threat on the way. If we don't act now, it will be drained of its elif, just like the other Valcanus. Yeah, that's also a problem. Wait, yeah, probably should have mentioned that. Us? Yeah, Richard kind of just sucked yes, all the out of so him. we have to stop it, no matter what. Please, Fourier, tell us where Forbrenir is. I don't know where it is, but the man in charge of the experiment does. Well, then how about Who's tell that? us who he is? Fendel's chief science officer, Kurt Bessel. Kurt. Kurt. Malik, do you know something? <laughs> you know him, Captain? Yes. Though I never imagined we would meet again. Okay, like well that answer that question. He doesn't know him. Where can we find him? The Ministry of Science is located in the capital. Although I couldn't say if he's there at the moment. Thank you. That's a good place to start. We'll try to speak with Kurt ourselves.
Do as you like. It matters not to me. Okay. So we bit that. Oh man, that was a pretty long cutscene. It was as long as the boss fight. <laughs> longer. Actually longer. Okay. I think we want to head this way real quick. Into the right. Um. Oh, oh, oh! I'm 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 being stupid. That's that's normal. I gotta touch that. The puzzle was completed, but the thing wasn't. Didn't hit the button. Okay. Now we can go to the right. And not fight you. And not fight you. And go through the door. And we get a book of serendipity. Doubles the odds of gaining items you haven't acquired yet. A very good thing for certain, trying to get certain drops from certain enemies. And let's open this and we get some chocolate covered bananas. Is there something over here? Uh, nope. Not that I know of. Okay, don't get into a fight, Asbel. Uh, we don't want to fight them. Uh, we want to head in here. Okay, I'm gonna flip my notes. And we wanna head skit. That's where well, we wanna head. We wanna we head our Valcanus to skit. information, but I wish it hadn't gone that down makes that way. Total sense. It was the best outcome we could have expected. At the very least we learned that Fourier's primary objective wasn't bioweapons development. Hubert, you saw how painful that was for Pascal and Fourier. Don't you feel anything at all? Of course, but that ultimately has no connection to our key objectives. But I hate seeing Pascal like this. Yeah, it's not like mean. Pascal Isn't at there all. Is something we can do to help them work it out? Stop this at once. I can't allow the two of you to waste more time discussing irrelevant nonsense. We have a mission to accomplish. Hubert. Settle down, Hubert. What are we going to do with you, Hubert? But we already knew that. Okay. Um, yeah, now we can just head out. So I'm going to meet you in Mount Zavert in a second, actually. I don't feel like putting in an obligatory uh, flash animation, so I'll do it when this thing loads. So I'll see you in a second. Or, 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 or I'm not going to do that. Because there's a Never there's a scene. She felt that way about me. All this time, I've been making her miserable all this time. No, Pascal, don't 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 be. Emo. I, I should go we don't need and any apologize. That. Okay, okay, uh, I'm being stupid, but but uh, I don't nah. think that will help. No, nah, we'll just go on for now. <laughs> Fourier's problem isn't you, Pascal. It's Fourier. Her spirit has been crushed by years of doubt and self-loathing. Sympathy will only make the problem worse. But I... I love her, you know? I just wish she knew that. Oh, Pascal. Don't worry. She'll understand someday. You're the only one who can stop the Valkanis experiment now. Fourier knows that's true, even if she'll never admit it. If the experiment isn't stopped, Fourier's work will end up killing a whole lot of people. And that would be worse. And no one wants that. Especially not you. He's right. Helping us will save your sister's reputation and maybe even her life. Plus, we... We need you, Pascal. We can't do this alone. So, come on, pull yourself together and let's go. Aw, oh, little bro. Thanks, guys. You're the best. This is why we're the best team ever. We got this. We got this. That we're was save right, the world. Hubert. I know what she's going through. And besides, it would be far too quiet if she weren't around. <laughs> of course. Now, can of we course. all stop talking and just head for Zavert? There's no time. Oops. Well, you said there was no time to waste, so I had to skip your line. Sorry, Hubert. 
I need a step to Okay, now um, I'll meet you guys in a second at the bottom of Mount Zavert after loading. See you in a sec. Okay, I'm back because we have a little skit here, but more importantly, I turned the difficulty down to easy because Dad, we'll see. I have a request to make. If you don't mind, I I want you to fight me. Wait and this minute, is why. Hold on. Fight you? What's this about, Sophie? It's what I want. This is Please. like um with humor earlier. Train, then all right. Where you yes, get different skits depending on with, whether you win, lose, or but a try, and they're put back. into the okay, museum if you win. You just get all of them. So, I turned the difficulty down to easy so it would be easy. Um, okay. Come on, okay. Alright, human. What do I got for human? I'm not used to Asbel. Is he the human? Heaven's Wrath. And... Yeah, and look, I mean, we got. Oh, of course, we cooked the rice omelet when we get zero experience. That's that's cool. That's totally cool. And we get the winning skit. Victory! But man, am I exhausted? You look pretty tired too, Sophie. Yes, but I'm relieved. Now I know if we have to fight Richard, I think it will be okay. Yeah. I realized something while fighting you, Asbel. Realized what? That you really are my friend. I still don't know what you're getting at, but... Uh, uh, achoo! Oh man, I'm starting to cool down. I don't want you two to catch cold. I'll get you something hot to drink. Let's go, Sophie. Okay. I didn't feel the urge to erase Asbel while fighting him. That means I can do the same when fighting Richard. Um, uh, okay. Because he's also my friend. Okay. That's, that's cool. Um. Ah, we got a title. Okay. I'm gonna make a save file because... I'm gonna show off those other two skits. So let's, uh, give that, uh, title screen. Uh, we want to go to extras, museum. And okay. Let's find these two skits. Uh, 155. And no, I don't have all the skits. Well, I have almost all of them. I think I need like three or something like that. It's very close. Uh, that one. Holy beans! Sophie just kicked Asbel's yep, butt! Yep, this is the this losing one. Do. Wait, what do you mean? Even for practice, that was a pitiful showing. <laughs> that's best. We'll have a tough road ahead. Hey, come oh, on. Oh, come on, guys. No, that's not it. I'm sorry, Asbel. Sophie. Okay. Then this one. You don't mind fighting me again? Of course not. Give me another chance. I'm tired of losing. <laughs> of course you are, Asbel. And I can't get over how Sophie seems so disappointed. Difficulty. Let's do this, Sophie. Okay. Okay. Um. Now we want to head back. I would normally say I'd cut, but it would probably take two seconds anyway. So let's continue. Boom. Okay. Let me change the difficulty back real quick. There we go. Okay. Let's head into Zaver and we'll do a little stuff. Try and do try and do all the stuff in Zav 
Zavrik, but that probably Fourier won't happen. Said that Kurt is Fendel's chief science officer. There's a place called Fendel Tower north of the city that houses yeah. government agencies. We're probably not going to get that we'll find the Ministry of Science there. Okay, let's ask around and see if we can find a way inside. Okay, I'll do a tiny bit more. Um, we want to head east? We're heading east. Okay. There should be a man with a bubble over his head. Aha! This would be the guy. Man, what a drag. I can't believe I forgot my security pass the first day on the job. Huh? You guys working at Fendel Tower, too? Hey, you think you could go in together? You... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Wouldn't it be the same if I didn't mess up random dialogue I tried to say? Uh... Aha. Very useful information. Uh, thanks to that guy, we were able to find out that we needed a security pass to get into the Fendel Tower. This is going to be tough, but I think I uh, needed to call in a friend. Maybe one solid snake. he know how to get us in. But Skit... Do you think we could get into Fendel Tower with your military credentials? If he's been declared dead, then that likely wouldn't work. Hubert is correct. Yeah, he In has. Fact, they they think a little. believe there's a con man out there using my name. But we gotta do something. Indeed. Fendel Tower is only the first step. We have to meet this Kurt as well. If we can't find him, retrieving some of his research documents might be enough. Do you really believe this can be settled with documents alone? Speaking with Kurt is the only way to be sure. Frankly, I would have expected you to feel the same, Captain Malik. Well, I, I, I hate to break they... it to you, but I don't. I don't know where you'd get that idea. Captain? I think it's something about his past, you know. I think something happened between the two. Just guessing. But, uh, what do I know? I've only played the game. Uh, okay, let's uh let's rest up for a little seat. Time sure flies. It feels like only yesterday that I made that friendship pact with Sophie and Richard. And that was that was a little more than yesterday. But Try a couple years. So much since then. I don't know what yeah, to believe in. Yeah, everyone's anymore. bigger except Sophie. <laughs> She's pretty much the same. Oh hey, Hubert. What are you doing out here? Sorry. Thinking. I just needed some time to think about things. About King Richard. How did you know? <laughs> you know me too well. Hey, remember the first time we met him? Of course. You broke into his room and then dragged him all over town. I was always surprised he enjoyed it as much as he did. He even wore that stupid disguise. He did. Yeah. Good times. That was what, like, 40 parts ago? Everyone was together back then. Even Richard. No. That was like 45 parts ago. Alone, with no one to support him. This 40 would have been 14, which would have been Sometimes the adult arc. I wonder if that loneliness drove him to his current state. I can't help but think if things could have been different. I was so caught up in my own training. That I never thought to check up on any of you guys. If I had been able to notice Richard's troubles, maybe I could have stopped things from the way they are now. It's not too late. I don't know. Stubbornness is one of your strongest traits, you know. <laughs> You're always pursuing some issue long after it's reached oh, the point of annoyance. You <laughs> so if you believe he can still be saved, then don't give up. Just use the same persistence with him that you have shown me. Thanks, Hubert. That means a lot coming from you. I'm glad you're around. You always put things into perspective. Oh, come on. Besides, it's my job as the little brother to keep you out of trouble. <laughs> Ouch. If King Richard doesn't have anyone to trust, then at least he can go to you. You think so? You promised to believe in him. And you have an obligation to maintain that promise. I suppose it does. 
He's right. If I don't stop Richard, who will? I'm not going to give up, no matter what. Okay, and I think this is where we're, yeah, this is where we're going to head it off. So in the next part, we'll do some more stuff around Zabbert, trying to get our way into Fendel Tower. But in the meantime, I'll likely grind off screen. So this is Mr. Shiny Gyarados signing out, guys. Have a good day and goodbye.